Hello. Over the past year, Oak Ridge Schools has invested in ACT practice test analysis from a private company called Analyze Ed. This company's reports are designed to identify key areas of improvement for each individual student to help maximize areas of academic growth and thus maximizing ACT score improvement. Our goal today is to guide you through a student practice ACT report from AnalyzeEd.com. AnalyzeEd sends a two-page report that gives each student their results on the practice ACT they took at ORHS. Each student who took a practice ACT receives one of these reports. If you look at the top left corner of the report, you'll find the student's actual scores on the practice ACT that was taken at ORHS. The ACT is composed of four subtests. English, Math, Reading, and Science. There are 75 questions on the English test, 60 on the Math test, and 40 questions on the Reading and Science tests. Each one of these subtests is graded and scored on a scale from 1 to 36. The STEM score that you see listed is merely the average of a student's Math and Science subscores and is not used in calculating a student's composite score. A student's total composite score is the average of the four subtest scores. Standard rounding rules apply, so if a student's composite score averages to a 29.5, this score is rounded to a 30, but a 29.25 is rounded to a 29. In the top middle part of the report, you'll find the student's projected results if they were to improve by getting five more questions correct on each subtest. You can see that our sample student's composite score raised three points by getting five more problems right on each subtest. This increase is dependent upon each student's score range, but our general school goal in using Analyze Ed is improvement. By getting five more correct on each subtest, our sample student could raise their composite score above the 21 that is required to automatically qualify for over $1,500 per semester in Tennessee Hope scholarship money. In the top right part of the report, you will find the student's login information needed to access their own personal improvement plan on AnalyzeEd.com. These improvement plans have been formulated by Analyze Ed's algorithms and are unique to each student who took their practice ACT at ORHS. The computer program then takes a student's mistakes and matches them with the prep material that have been aggregated from several different ACT resources, including most major test review publishers. After a student logs in for the first time, we recommend that they go to the site settings and change their password. Under the top headings, you'll find a list of the top three areas from each subtest on which the student can improve. When you get online, this same list of three areas will appear with links to videos and exercises for each skill to help guide and improve each student's skills. In the middle of the page, you'll find three sections. These sections help students identify the areas they need to study to maximize growth in their ACT skills. The first section will identify the two or three areas in which the student could most efficiently make gains to raise their ACT composite score by one point. The next section down identifies five areas of improvement to most efficiently make gains to raise their ACT composite score by three points. And the third section is a list of areas to improve for a gain of five points. Page two of the report includes graphs that detail the student's errors on each practice subtest. Overlaid onto the given bar graphs is a cumulative frequency chart that accounts for the percentage of total errors made on the given test. If you look at our sample student report, you'll note that on their English subtest, they missed problems labeled grammar and approach and intentions more than any of their English errors. If you follow the cumulative frequency curve to the right axis, You'll note that these two errors accounted for nearly 50% of the errors our sample student made in the English section. Likewise, you can note that about 70% of our sample student's math errors came from the three sections entitled Basic Algebra, Advanced Algebra, and Geometry, Shapes and Figures. Thus, the Analyze Ed report helps identify areas for greatest gains for individual students then provides online videos and practice resources for students to make these gains. We hope that our guide through this report has been beneficial in explaining the details you can use for improvement in our students' ACT scores. Thank you.